हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम तनुकल सी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट डिग्री कॉलेज धर्मपुर फ्रॉम हिमाचल प्रदेश यूनिवर्सिटी शिमला टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल रोल ऑफ ह्यूमन वैल्यूज इन टीम बिल्डिंग फ्रॉम पेपर ह्यूमन वैल्यूज एंड इंडियन ईथोज आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल the students will be able to learn about team building and values team types of team manners of team building essentials of team building let us first study introduction great teams are required in achieving the organizational goals these great teams are built on the strength of the great values thus it becomes a priority to infuse find values in teams and this also contributes to the organizational growth and development the team building process is very necessary for the corporate world also the team building process helps in achieving the objectives of strengthening of organization team building process needs constant evaluation also for this the teams should be trained and guided properly so that their performance can be measured the only way to successfully evaluate the team building activities is to directly survey those who have participated in it each team building activity should fit into bigger picture of developing a vision of your business and ask the staff members to contribute to that each employee must feel that he or she is valid and an important part of the organization as a whole then they will be more willing to invest their time in various team building activities workplace culture can be hard to change so you may have to try a few different approaches to follow small changes in culture but these things built on each other and each step adds up to developing the kinds of bonds that will help the company to grow team building and values human beings are social people and they have lived since ancient times in groups gradually this has started in teams in hunting and in gathering food in present times also for the survival of mankind people live in groups the team building helps in owning the man's ability to work as a team which represents the evolution of the groups excellence team building team work leadership team team is a group that is organized to work together in accomplishing the set objectives which cannot be achieved effectively by individuals thus team being a group of people work together for accomplishing a common goal following are the main characteristics of the teams participative leadership aligned on purpose and vision teams should be task focused shared responsibility problem solving innovativeness communication responsive types of team some of the types of teams are explained as below lead teams cross functional teams problem solving teams self managing teams manners of team building teams can be built over a period of time following are the main steps in promoting the team building process first is provide job opportunities to employees in different departments employees should be placed in different sections and departments of the company for fostering the team building among the departments the cross department job shadowing should be tried the marketing department can host a few employees from the finance department and the product department can host some employees of public relations department by adopting such methods the various departments will help staff members and gain a better understanding of each part of the working of company 
Next step is hold company sponsored lunches. The Japanese style of joint lunches can also help in promoting harmony among the teams. Free lunches not only improve the workplace morale but it also provides the employees a chance to interact with other team members. There is something that can be said about sharing of a meal that encourages the employees to talk and to know each other better. Next step is have employees volunteer the, together. Selfless service should be encouraged among the employees. It helps in raising the image of the company among community and also helps in building the team connections. Next step is get fit together and plan an employee health initiative. A company-wide walking plan has important health benefits. Give everyone pedometers and let them track their wailing each day of a month. Encourages employee for group walks during the lunch breaks. Building the ethical winning teams. Team building is the process of forming, growing and improving the knowledge, skills and attitude among the individuals so that the various needs and abilities are integrated into high performance teams. Every team leader has to learn about the team building through proper training. It is both science and art because there are scientific studies that have shown path for building effective teams and the application of the knowledge remains with the skills of team leader. Thus, the leaders have to use their own skills to keep their teams at high levels of performance and ethical conduct. Some of the guidelines for building teams are as follows. Recruiting right people. For building a winning team, there is need for recruiting and hiring of talented person. It means hiring people who will work together and develop a shared vision and commitment. The leaders of the winning teams must encourage positive informal interactions among the group members. There is also need to study the reverse actions of the team building process like jealousy and defensive behavior. A leader needs to show people the vision for the future strategy for getting it, reason for choosing that strategy, every achievement that the team is winning. Physical meeting of team members. Physical meeting of the team members is also an important part of building up an effective team. The team leaders can provide formal and informal forums like parties, celebrations when the team members come together. It is also an important part to have the participation of everyone in smaller meetings where the opinions, suggestions and solutions are found out. Getting people to work together. One of the most difficult parts in building a winning team is encouraging positive, informal interaction among the team members when the team leader is not present. The team members should try to arrange proximity of offices and should arrange formal and informal meetings of the members of the team. Checking negative influences. The negative focus creeps into team building exercises. It is the responsibility of the team leader to check the negative influences Otherwise, the entire effort of the team building shall be wasted. Some of the problems among the team members are jealousy, cynicism and lack of confidence. Team building process needs constant evaluation also. For this, the teams should be trained and guided properly so that their performance can be measured. The only way to successfully evaluate the team building activities is to directly survey those who have participated in it. Each team building activity should fit into big picture of developing a vision of your business and ask the staff members 
to contribute to that. Each employee must feel that he or she is valid and also an important part of the organization as a whole. Then they will be more willing to invest the time in various team building activities. Workplace culture can be hard to change so you may have to try a few different approaches to allow small changes in the culture. But these things built on each other and each step adds up to building the kinds of bonds that will help the company to grow. Essentials of team building In order to build great teams, we have to take certain essential steps which are discussed below. Developing shared values for team building Importance of communication in team building Teams and value system Basic rules of team members Prerequisites of team building Summary Human beings are social people and they have lived since ancient times in groups. Gradually, this has started working in teams, in hunting and in gathering food. In present times also, for the survival of mankind, people live in groups. The team building helps in owning the man's ability to work as a team, which represents the evolution of the groups. Team is a group that is organized to work together in accomplishing the set objectives which cannot be achieved effectively by individuals. Thus, team being a group of people work together for accomplishing a common goal. When we talk about the actual practices, team structures are often complicated and people can be members of several teams at the same time. Teams are different from groups. As in case of teams, there is interdependence among the organizational principles. Team building process is very important for any organization. The teams helps in achieving the organizational goals in proper manner. Various opportunities can be taken advantage of through great teams. In order to build a great team, there is need to apply the team building process. This could be done by infusing the values and norms in the teams. The team building activities ranges from having a few co-workers to an office get together. Each team has its own diverse group of people. So the way one team works different from another one. The effectiveness of the teams differs substantially from one organization to another. Team building process needs constant evaluation also. For this, the teams should be trained and guided properly so that their performance can be measured. The only way to successfully evaluate the team building activities is to directly survey those who have participated in it. Each team building activity should fit into bigger picture of developing a vision of your business and ask the staff members to contribute to that. Each employee must feel that he or she is valid and an important part of the organization as a whole. Then they will be more willing to invest the time in various team building activities. Workplace culture can be hard to change. So you may have to try a few different approaches to allow small changes in the culture. But these things built on each other and each step adds up to developing the kinds of bonds that will help the company to grow. The communication lines of the organization are essential part of organization. Communication in teams is also taken on the basis of all the values and information to all the members of the team. Communication is critical to team building and organizational effectiveness. Communication is the lifeblood of complex and interconnected elements. Communication breaks down are the major problem of organization and teams. Thank you.